Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello. Good fine. evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Excellent. Excellent. We are ready All to start. All right. Very good. We're going to go ahead and get started quickly today because uh, today is Thursday. So tomorrow we don't have class, but we need, to, we need to finish uh, sections one and two. So today we're going to try to finish all of section two uh, to run by it really, really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. And I would like for us to look at section number two. Number two. Platform. Correct. Uh, in this class, you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. En esta clase... Practicarán usando infinitivos y gerundios para usos y propósitos. All right, so let's check this out. We're going to get started real quick. Uh, we're going to watch the video. Uh, somebody sent a text. Then what's de oyente? Noé Ezequiel. All right, Noé Ezequiel estará de oyente. Thank you. The we can describe how something Everybody is used here? by either an infinitive yes, or here. Okay. Notice yeah. the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails nor I use my computer for send emails. All right. Uh, for example, let's look at some examples right now. Uh, who can tell me what they use their laptop for? Who can tell me an example? Uh-huh. We use the laptop to check with uh, our emails or send emails or maybe um, surfing in internet. Excellent, Vicente, very good. That is correct. Uh, you can say, for example, I use my Lap my laptop. Top. Why? Check. What is the purpose? What is the purpose? To, to check my emails. Study English, for example. Study. Or yeah. you can say, I use my laptop for studying English. Okay, good, good example, very good. Uh, who can tell me an example with TV? Give me an example with TV. Who can give me an example with TV? Okay, Vincent, we're gonna give the other students an opportunity to participate. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you, Vincent. I like your enthusiasm, but I need the whole class to participate. If okay. not, only one student will learn English. I need everybody to learn English. 
Okay, good, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Can okay. I try? Yeah, Brenda. I use my TV to watch a series. Very good. I use my TV to watch simple present series. Or you can say, I use my TV for W A T C H I watching series. Uh, uh -huh. so, I understand that the changing. Okay. Uh, uh huh. When you use the preposition to, we use uh -huh. watch, simple present. When simple we present. use or we use or watching ing. in the gerund. That's right. Okay. ing. Mm -hmm. ing. Okay. 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 Another student. Another student. Give me an example with car. Okay. Andrea Esther. Andrea <laughs> Esther. Come on, Andrea. Give me an example I, with car. I use my car to drive. Sorry, can you repeat? Se le cortó. Sorry, right. use my car to drive. Very good. I use my car to drive. Perfect. Or I use my car for driving. Excellent. Uh, who can give me an example with microwave? Microwave. Give me an example with microwave. Microwave. <laughs> somebody, somebody. Sorry. I forgot, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, it's okay, Vincent. I know you want to participate, but I need everybody to participate. Yeah, right. Claudia. Okay, Claudia, give me an example. I use my microwave to heat my food. I use my microwave to heat up my food or I use my microwave for heating up my food. Okay, okay, good job. Andrea Esther, veo que tiene la mano levantada. Uh, Andrea Esther, give me an example with cell phone. I use my cell phone to call my friends. I use my cell phone to call my friends. Good, good. Or you can say I... I use, use my cell phone for my calling. cell phone for, for calling, calling my, my friends. friends. Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. All right, guys. So these are just a, a couple of examples that you can use uh, whenever you want to express using the gerunds or the infinitive. I'm going to take a screenshot. Everybody smile. Thank you. <laughs> I'm it's a lie because this is the last day. <laughs> yeah, I want you to look happy. <laughs> oh, I want you to, um, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the screenshot in the group chat so that the people that are absent can review it later on. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the first activity. Any questions about this section? Okay, so right here, I want you to give me 
five examples in the discussion forum. You're going to go over here where it says, añade una publicación, and you're going to give me five examples. Any questions? No question. Any questions? No question right now. Okay. No. Using the present simple and using the other one. That is correct. Using okay. the infinitives and Infinitive. using the gerunds. All right, let's go to the next activity. That's going to be your homework. Knowledge okay. check instructions. Complete the phrases by selecting either an infinitive or a gerund. Instrucciones. Complete las frases ele eligiendo una respuesta, ya sea utilizando un infinitivo o un gerundio. All right. Let's look at the first one. Eugenio, number one. Como veo que solo Vincente quiere participar, los voy a llamar uno por uno. <laughs> One. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, very good. I like I'm here. Yeah, yeah. All right, I tried it. I don't say you. me. I try. Okay, Brenda, oh. yes. Claudia, yes. But everybody else is sleeping. I don't like that. Eugenio, number one. Yes. It's my turn. Okay, oh, it's my turn. Eugenio, number one. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Satellites are used to study the world's weather, weather. to study the world's weather, or to study the world's weather. The correct is the number one, I think. Correct, to study the world's weather. Satellites exactly. are used to study the world's weather. It's impossible to say to an ing or exactly or to that is so correct. That doesn't exist. All right. Number two. Yeah. Excellent, Eugenio. <laughs> Thank you. Number With two, energy. Luis Alfredo. Okay, I am ready for the answer. I right. remember to say, uh, robots are sometimes used uh, to perform dangerous tasks, uh, to perform in dangerous tasks, and for performing dangerous tasks. And the correct answer is number three, for performing dangerous tasks. Task. Very good. For performing, because we got four and the gerund in the ing form. Excellent. Lenin, okay. Lenin Hernandez. Lenin Hernandez, number three. You can use a cell phone uh, to send text messages. Excellent. To send text messages is correct. Number four, Maria Jose. Number four, Maria Jose. For use the internet for making trouble with her patients. Excellent. For making travel reservations is correct. Thank you, Maria. Elizabeth. Demoran, number five. Elizabeth. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, Elizabeth? Microphone. Hey, Elizabeth. De oh, no. Medrano. Sorry. Uh -huh. De Medrano, number yeah. five. Uh, the DNA fingerprinter is DNA. 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 Ah, excuse me, excuse me. D DNA. Uh, DNA. The printer okay. is used. Uh, uh. <laughs> is used um for. Uh, 
for identify criminal? Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 to identify criminals. To, near, near. to identify. Uh -huh. To criminals. identify the, the first one. The first one to first identify one. criminals. To identify. Okay, so this one and this Pr one. Soy yo o se ven iguales? No, it's no, not. The last one has oh, a, this one has two uh, M's. Uh -huh. Criminal. Criminal. Ah, I'm mistaken okay. in grammar. Yeah, correct. No, in spelling. In spelling. Mistaken spelling. Yeah, okay. Right. Good job. Good job. Number six. Edgar. Mauricio. <laughs> Edgar, Mauricio creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono, lo vamos a poner en silencio porque se le escucha mucha interferencia. Sorry, Edgar, tiene que chequear su, yo creo que es el audífeno o el jack que va conectado a la laptop que causa ese ruido. Saraí, Noemi, number six. City rooms are used uh, for a string and encyclopedia. Excellent. For storing an encyclopedia. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Good let's job. Let's Good let's job. Let's Correct. Correct. Any questions, guys, in regards to this activity? Questions in regards to this activity? No question. Okay, okay. So veo que dedocraticamente de sí participa. I like it. I select like the that. victim. Yeah, I got to select it because if I don't, I don't see it. Okay, let's continue. Lesson number 2.3. Participants will notice and practice stress in words with more than syllables. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that we don't speak like this, like a robot, right? Hello, my name is Ruben. How are you? Right? Do you speak like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't speak like that? Edgar, sometimes problem with the microphone. Sometimes, <laughs> right? Those people that just say, "How are you? How are you doing today?" So happy. <laughs> I feel happy. When I uh, when I I have sad yes, but sometimes not. Okay, right. Only yeah. on Monday. Only, Only on, on Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? Fine. So fine. <laughs> because it is Monday. Because it's Monday, you got to go to work. Okay, so basically, uh, intonation, uh, stress is very important because that's the way that you express, right? Everybody has a different style, um, a different body movement, body language, Boy. voice, intonation going up and down, right? So Speaking is like music, and um, when you are able to communicate your ideas clearly. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, practice uh, using stress, okay? Yes. All right. Syllable stress. Listen, please. Pronunciation. Can everybody hear? Syllable stress. Yes. Can everybody Part hear? A. Okay. Listen and practice. Okay. Part A. Notice Listen and practice. which syllable has the main stress. Notice which syllable satellite. is the main stress. Repeat, satellite. Internet. Internet. Photograph. 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 Internet. Everybody. Invention. Photograph. Invention. Everybody. Assignment. Assignment. Everybody. Computer. Assignment. Computer. Everybody. CD-ROM. CD-ROM. Computer. CD -ROM. Computer. Engineer. CD -ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress Entertain. in these words? Can you pronounce them? Languages. Everybody listen and repeat. Languages. Languages. Understand. 
understand. understand. understand. Robotics. 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 Telephone. 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 Transmission. 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 BCR. BCR. One more time. Languages. 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 Understand. 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 Robotics. 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 Telephone. Si no Telephone. Telephone. No, no tengo. Transmission. Transmission. BCR. BCR. Okay. Now, your homework yeah. is going to be to record your voice on vocaroo.com, and then you are going to put the recording over here in the discussion forum. That's going to be your homework. Any questions? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I didn't understand. Sorry. Oh, okay. The homework? Okay. Do you remember? Uh, I think it was yesterday. We did a recording on vocaroo.com. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. So today you're going to do the same thing. Uh, you're going to record yourself uh, on vocaroo.com. And then you're going to copy paste the recording over here on the platform. I have a question. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, all the words or the last words? The, la the last five words. Okay. The last five words. Languages. Uh -huh. Only the last five. Could you understand? Uh, Telephone, transmission, ECR. <laughs> That's right. Let me put, uh, put the screen to, again. Please. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it. We're going to go to the here, and we're going to go to the pronunciation practice. And you're going to go here, Boca Ru, languages understand robotics. You're going to go like here, like that. One, two, three. You're going to say languages. Languages. Understand. Languages. Robotics. Understand. Telephone. Robotics. Transmission. Telephone. B C R. When you say you're going to go over here and you're going to put stop, and you can hear your voice, you can hear your recording. Share. You're going to say languages, understand languages. Mm -hmm. robotics, mm -hmm. telephone. All right. When you Trend. finish, you're going to go save and share, and then you're going to copy here and then you're going to come in the discussion box and you're going to put añade una publicación and you're going to put titulo pronunciation and you're going to paste here the recording and then you're going to put enviar any questions any questions i'm looking i'm looking for boca Ru. I got it. Uh, uh, I sent the Boca Roo to the WhatsApp chat. Ah, okay. I don't know if you if you have the the WhatsApp chat open. Okay. Boca Roo. Yeah, got it. All right. Let's go ahead, and we're going to. Well, at this moment, I gotta take the attendance because it's already almost eight thirty. So when I call your name. Please say present quickly. Uh, Ada. Present. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Present. Good job. Today's the 28th. Wow, que rápido se fue esta semana. Um, Alicia. Present. Present. Good job. Anna. Present. Very good. Andrea. Esther. Here, teacher. Thank you. Brenda. 
Brenda. It's me. It's me. All right. <laughs> Present. Good job, Brenda. Cecilio. Creo que Cecilio dijo que iba a estar de oyente, ¿verdad? Present teacher. All right. Good job. Eh, Claudia. Present teacher. Awesome. Edgar. He has problem with. Thank you, Edgar. Eugenio. Present teacher. Very I'm good. here. Good. With Giovanni. all the power. All right. You got the power. Present right, teacher. On. Present Giovanni. Good job. Jennifer. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan. Present teacher. All right. Lenin. Present teacher. Good job. Lorena. Present teacher. Awesome. Luis. Present, present. Excellent. Maria. Present teacher. Fantastic. Noe. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma. Present teacher. Very good. Olivia. Present. Awesome. Oscar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sandra. Sandra Elizabeth. Absent. Okay. Sarai. Present teacher. Very good. And Vincent. And the last one, Vincent. Pre is present. <laughs> present. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. All right. Good job, guys. Only one person is absent today. Sandra. That's good. Let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No question. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. Which is coming from 2.5. In this session, you will practice a conversation about using a cell phone. See imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions in context. En esta sesión, practicarán una conversación sobre el uso del celulares. Observe imperativos e infinitivos para dar sugerencias dentro de un contexto. Okay. Eh, what is an example of an imperative? Who can give me an example of an imperative? Okay, for example, if the teacher says, stand up. If the teacher says, stand up, what is that? Everybody leave the, the seat. <laughs> uh -huh, that's right. That's a that's an imperative. And, Stand yeah. up. Todos de pie. That's an imperative. If I say yeah. sit down, that's an imperative. Right? If I say go out, that's an imperative. So an imperative is like an order, it's like a, a command, you know, something like that. It's, it's not just a, a phrase. It has a meaning. Imperative okay. is an order. An imperative is like an order. It's like a command. Oh. Uh -huh. That's an imperative. Stand up, sit down, be quiet, go out, go to sleep. It's an imperative. Ordenes. Those are what we call imperatives. Like a order. That is correct. Like in the military. Order or commander. That's right, like a commando. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> All right. Can I borrow your cell phone? Let's listen, please. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Can everybody hear? Yes. Yes, we're here. Listen okay. and yes, practice. Listen and practice. Yes, I'm here. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can I, I borrow can't your believe phone you to still don't have boss? a cell phone. I still here believe you, you don't have Thanks. a cell phone. Here now, you go. what do I Thanks. need to do? Like, no, what First I need of to all, do. be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. <laughs> Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you are not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, Okay. so that's going to be your homework. Um, as many times as you need to. Good luck. calling. What's the first so, thing? What's the first question? Ready? Who owns the phone? What is the first question? Who is in the phone? No, no. who is... Who owns, owns the owner? Who's in the phone? The owners. Who, of the who owns, owns the phone? The phone. Quien es el dueño del teléfono? Who owns the mm -hmm. phone? That's the first question. All right. Who are they calling? All right. What is the next question? Who are, who they, are calling? they calling? Who? Are, are they, they calling? calling. All right. Are they calling? The next question, who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should... What's the first thing to do? Thing to do. What's... To put it down the bottom. The first thing to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. What's the first thing to do? Good. <clears throat> the woman press. If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, so that's going to be Thank your you. homework. You're going to, you are going to answer the questions about the audio. Do you understand? Okay. That's the homework. Yes, sir. We understand. And okay. you are you are going to write the answers over here in the discussion box. Okay. You're going to write the answers over here in the discussion box. Any questions? No question. No question. Okay. All right. So that's going to be your homework in your free time. Let's look at 2.7. At the end of this session, you will understand how to use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Al final de esta clase, entenderán cómo usar los imperativos e infinitivos para seguir. Listen, please. Can everybody hear? Hello, everyone. Before yes, you watch the video, right. I want to All remind right. you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. 
So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure. sure. Make sure. Don't forget. Make sure. Remember. Sure. Try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to write here in the discussion box, I want you to give me at least five examples. Five examples on the discussion box about imperatives. That's going to be your homework. Any questions? No question. Somebody, somebody. Thank you, Vicente. Any questions? No question. Anybody? No question. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Imperative. No question. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, Brenda, what's uh, going on? I wanna uh Sorry, I, I, I forget. Um, lo que quiero decir es de que pueden ser uno imaginadas o, o las que están en el video. No, no, no. It's going to be like original, original ones that you think about. Okay, for example, you say to your children, pick up the toys. That's an imperative. Go to bed. That's an imperative. Be quiet. That's an imperative. <laughs> Infinitive is be sure to close the door. Uh huh. Be sure to close the door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you have children, that's what you got to do, right? Be quiet. <laughs> yeah, right. Pick up the toy. Go to sleep. <laughs> it's easily. It's easily. <laughs> yeah. Stop playing video games. Turn off the cell phone. All right. Uh, Go to that's going to be your homework. Go to bed. Any questions at this moment? No question. Okay. So we have two examples. Five examples in the discussion box. Okay. Okay. Now, now we're going to be looking at 2.9 knowledge check. Edgar, we're going to keep you on silence. Thank you, Edgar. Uh, we're going to look at instructions read these suggestions which ones refer to an alarm system a cell phone a laptop computer choose among those instrucciones lea las sugerencias cual se refiere al sistema de alarma teléfono celular computadora portátil so, try to keep it closed to protect the screen. I'm going to give you five minutes so you can work in pairs with your classmates. And I want you to complete the exercise with your classmates. If you already did it, you can share your screen with your classmates. I'm going to activate the multiple participants can share simultaneously so that you guys can share your screen and help your classmates. If you didn't do it, now is the time to do it. Any questions? No question. 
Eh, si por alguna razón le queda un grupo que no está participando, me puede escribir en el chat y yo lo voy a supervisar. Teacher. Hi. ¿Y si ya terminamos esa, esa parte? Sí, si ya terminó esa parte, estoy activando para que puedan compartir su pantalla. Eh, así usted puede compartir la pantalla y apoyarle a sus compañeros. Okay, okay good. Correct. Teamwork. Teamwork. Trabajo en equipo. That's what I like. Tiene que darle click donde dice ingresar o donde dice join. Si está en español, le va a decir entrar. Si está en inglés, le va a decir join. Veo que Lenín no entró, Saraí no entró, Alicia no entró, Cecilio no entró, Oscar no entró, Juan Antonio, Giovanni, eh, Noé. Necesitan ayuda para entrar. ¿Me escuchan? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? No me escuchan. Okay. How many times do you work? How many yeah. times do you work? Nine hours, 10 hours, 12, 11 hours. How many hours? I don't know. Nine? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Where English, do you work? English is easy. <laughs> Where do you work, Jennifer? Sorry, I don't understand. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you can see the platform? Yes. Alarm system? Yes, alarm system. Okay, me too. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. No. You can share? Este... No. Creo que no. But I can too. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, number one. Number one is laptop computer. Mm. Try to keep it close to project the screen, laptop computer. Okay. Uh -huh. Number two is don't forget to write down your secret code alarm system. Number three, remember to turn to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. Number four, try not to get it to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Laptop computer. Number five. Make sure to set to set it each time you leave home. Alarm system. Number six, remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Cell phone. And number seven, be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake up you up. Cell phone. Cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> Terminamos. Eh, finish.
I like that. I like that. I like that. Good job. What section? What section are you in, Maria? Uh, two point nine. Two point nine. Good. What about you, Ada? In this moment, uh, two point nine. Oh, okay. But, but I. Um, I am late in ah, the other <laughs> in the other activities section. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Well, you have to work. You have to work. Okay. Uh, today finish the section number one. Okay. Okay. All right. I well, can't. today you can finish section two. Also, <laughs> yeah, quick, quick. We finished quick. You can, you can do it. I can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. It's not easy, but it's possible. English is very difficult. Well, very difficult. I don't, I don't think so. Um, if you, if you analyze the the grammar in English and the grammar in Spanish, the grammar in Spanish is more complicated. The, the grammar in English is basic, basic uh, compared to the grammar in, in Spanish. Spanish is more complicated, more intricate than, than English. English is very simple, it's very, the expressions are very, um, very, very simple. In in English, we have more, more vocabulary, more grammar. Uh, we even have symbols that, for example, será, right? You have that 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 little uh, stress on será. In English, you don't have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and check. And antes, and antes española, and antes hablamos <laughs> <en> español. <laughs> Me dije ayo. You need to learn English, ayo. Ayo Me mismo. Me dije mismo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. por eso se nos dificulta hablar el otro idioma porque nosotros hablamos español pero lo hablamos muy mal. It's a problem. But nowadays, nowadays, um, I think it's easier to learn English than in the past, you know, because in the past there weren't uh, a lot of opportunities. It was very expensive. Um, nowadays, there is no excuse. I mean, you have internet, television, you can go to public places. I went. I went to La Gran Vía uh, last week, uh, Saturday, and I was buying a, a smartwatch. And next to me was a guy from I don't know what country, but he was speaking in English because he couldn't speak Spanish. And the guy in the store was like, "Oh, okay." you can buy this cell phone and, and, and trying to talk to him in English. And I was, I was listening to the conversation, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> and, and that's, and that's common. You go to Galerias, you see American people, uh, you go to Parque Cuscatlan, you see American people. So even Chinese people learning English. Mm -hmm. uh, so Nowadays, it's not that difficult. If you really, really want to do it, it's, it's possible because there's more than, than ways Only to... practice every day mm -hmm. and try and speak. That's right. That's right. Other, with other person. Yeah. Yeah, or listen to music, sing in English, right? It's many strategies. Yeah. Okay. 
or watching series in English with subtitles in English yeah, or YouTube in English with subtitles in English. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Bye, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> See, you la See you later. See you later. All right, let's finish. Uh, Claudia, can you give me number one? Try to keep it closed to protect the screen. Laptop computer. Awesome. Um, let me have Ada. Let me have number two, please. Alarm system. Alarm system, very good. Uh, number three, Lenin. Okay, I think Lenin has problems with the computer. Maria Jose, number three, please. Number three is alarm system. Alarm system, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth de Medra, Medrano. Number four, Elizabeth de Medrano. Okay, the fourth one is a laptop computer. Laptop computer, good job. Uh, continue, Juan Antonio. <laughs> Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Make sure, five. make sure to set it each time, each time, <clears throat> sorry, you leave home. Alarm system. Alarm, alarm system. system. Alarm system. Right. And system. number six, Vicente. Yes, teacher. Number remember, six. remember to recharge the battery before they die. The cell phone. Cell phone. Good. Jennifer, number seven. Cell phone teacher. Cell phone. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Good job. Excellent. We got it. We got it. <laughs> um, th at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Any um something about pronunciation, vocabulary, anything like that? And I have a question, teacher. Yes, uh, Elizabeth. I have problem with the stress mm -hmm. in pronunciation. And then there are any rules about this for to understand? Oh, about there, this? Normally, if it is a two-syllable word, the stress syllable is at the end. But if it's a one syllable word, the stress is at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Normally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. 2.10, the last one for today. In this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading for specific information. En esta clase, usted leerá un artículo sobre tecnología en el futuro. También desarrollarán habilidades en identificar temas en cada párrafo. Y a encontrar información específica. A day in your life. In your life. Okay, so please read the article and answer true or false. I will let you do it in pairs and then we will check 
together. Ready, let's go. Ok, los que no pueden entrar, pueden trabajar en grupos. Tengo a Lenín, Juan Antonio, Cecilio, Norma, Alicia. Los que se quedaron acá, pueden trabajar en grupo aquí. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay. Um, yeah. People used to know more or less how their children would like. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our 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 lips don't like <laughs> will be like in a few years. What follow is how experts see the future. Your day dreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have in a in automatic pilot, pilot, or pilot, pilot, and with this high tech computer, your car knows how to get you home safely. Um, you head for the kitchen when you get home, you ordered groceries by computer and our Cecilio, Lenin, Alicia, Juan, Norma, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Awesome, awesome. Did everybody finish? Is everybody yes. finished? Yes, children. Okay. Good. Yes. Good. All right, guys, it's already time to go. It's already nine o'clock, so we got to go. Veo unas caritas ahí que you are almost asleep. <laughs> so I know that the weather, the rain makes you more sleepy. It happens to me also. But we are finished. Eh, ha sido para mí un gusto eh, trabajar con ustedes esta semana. Eh, ni la sentí. Se los juro que no he sentido esta semana. Me ha dado mucho, mucho gusto eh, estar con ustedes. Y pues, para adelante. Tengan un feliz fin de semana. Y por favor... Eh, Thank recuerden. you, YouTube. Yes, of course. Voy a estar vendiendo. Fighting. Fighting. Bueno. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you so much, teacher. Hey, thank, thank you. you for your support. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank, thank you, you bye bye, Andrea. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. 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 B